What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you to all 52 people that have subscribed. Today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite mods and those are free mods. And yes, there are some free mods that you can do for your MK7 GTI. Today we're gonna to start off with a stock intake mod. So you can actually modify your stock intake so that it flows a little bit better. The stock intake for this car is actually pretty good. I still have it on my car. Anything up to like 400 horsepower, the stock intake is fine. And so me knowing that, I actually, I didn't want to, even though, so I have an IS38, I also run meth. And so my car makes maybe almost around 400 horsepower. And I still have the stock intake because I didn't want to spend money on an intake that was really not gonna do anything for my car, especially if the stock one is so good. And especially since you can modify it for free in order for it to flow better. I know that this works because I've used the cob and so I bought the cob before I actually did this mod and what happened is I noticed that after I did it the intake air temperature actually went down by on average four to five degrees in just day-to-day -day driving there definitely was some improvement from doing this mod What are some of the benefits? Some of the benefits are that your turbo will be able to spool a little bit quicker. So if you breathe air through a straw that's straight, it's gonna be much easier and much quicker as opposed to you breathing air through a straw that's bent at a 90 degree angle. So I'm gonna show you why your intake is kind of like a straw bent at a 90 degree angle and how you can make it be straight so that the air is basically force fed into your intake so that way your turbo doesn't actually experience any resistance from the intake side. Also, this helps lower the intake air temperatures which will allow your car to run more advanced timing and have more power. Why does it lower intake air temperatures? Because the air doesn't hit many pieces of hot plastic as it's going in. You'll see that the traditional way, there's a lot of plastic pieces that the air needs to hit in order to go through to the intake. However, if you make these slots that I'm gonna show you, the air takes a much more direct path and doesn't have time to heat up as much. Therefore, your intake air temperature will be lower. So your car is actually gonna be able to make a little bit more power, especially when you're like at peak RPM. So anyway, let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at how this is going to work. Oh, hold it. Quick handle door pull. All right, let's take a look. We know that this is where the air filter is. What we're interested in is how the air gets to the air filter, everything in front of it. What we're talking about is this main area here. As you can see, the holes are at the back right here so the air needs to travel in through here through this box and then to your intake if we take a closer look we're gonna take this top off right here this one's off this one's also off we're just gonna open it to kind of see what's underneath wait give me a sec there we go okay so as you can see the air is actually sucked through back here. It has to travel through. It goes down and into the intake. And then the filter is up here, it goes up through the filter and then through the accordion pipe and into the car. So that's the path that the air takes in order to go into the intake. It basically gets sucked from the inside of the engine. If you look through, what you'll notice is that on your car, if you look through these holes at the front here, it'll be solid. This will be blocked off by plastic. You see on mine, it isn't because I cut it through, right? So we were talking about the path that the air takes. Instead of it having to go up through the grill back there, be it sucked in through the back, go through and then into the intake, now it can go straight in. And as you can see, this leads straight into the intake. So what you do is you take off this T25, you take off this T25 right here, you remove this piece of plastic, and inside here, you'll see, you'll see I cut it out with a Dremel. You can just cut 
three holes so that these holes match up with the holes at the front of the car. You can actually go even further and make some slits right here. As you can see, the other side has them, and I know MK7.5s also have them, but the MK7 does not come with the slits here. So you can remove the grill and make some slits matching those onto here. We go over the uh, stock intake airbox mod or whatever you want to call it. I would recommend that you make the three holes in this plastic piece right here. As you can see, if you can stick your fingers through like this, you know you're good. And then you're going to want to take off your grill and you're going to want to make these holes right here. So you make those, those holes there and these three holes here. And your stock intake airbox mod is done. And that's that's pretty much the basics of it and it will help your car run cooler you'll get quicker boosts more throttle response and overall it's a pretty good mod to do would i recommend that you do this mod absolutely it's free all you have to do is really make a couple of holes you get better flow colder intake air temperatures quicker boost I don't see why not. I would definitely recommend doing this mod before buying an intake. Try it out. I also have a K&N drop-in air filter. That's like 80 bucks. I recommend you get that too and see how that works for you. See you next time.